If you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch. And if you want to be happy, you're going to have to do the work in deep. Quick fixes become fancy diets to take back your time and live your life for you. Because if you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch. Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> These two in one day is feel like I've spent my whole morning sat on the floor in my kitchen. Never mind. So we are going to do this one in 25 minutes because my lunch is in the oven. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I have to get a drive to London after this. So this is a fast one. Um, and this is what I would call is could be like a nice quick win because we tend to not be too sentimental about kitchen appliances, <laughs> kitchen gadgets. I don't call this kitchen gadgets or kitchen appliances because gadgets could be a smaller one. But we're going to be talking about the bigger ones today. These kind of DVDs. And um, now this cupboard is a corner cupboard. It goes in round there. These can be quite good for kitchen gadgets that maybe you don't need to access very much because you can put the the less used ones tucked around the corner um, and tucked in there. Now, there is much debate in our family about which ones of these we actually need. So we have a toaster. <laughs> I would not have a toaster <laughs> if it was Joyce. Um, I prefer doing my bread under the grill. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, it's just all crumbs in there. Uh, I don't make toast very often, but my partner really likes having a toaster. So we have a toaster in here, but it's tucked around the corner. Um, we also have a very, very old air fryer, like before air fryers were a thing, <laughs> type air fryer. And it basically can only do like two or three things. It's not like one of the new ones. So we have said at some point, we would like to consider getting another air fryer, one that doesn't take up as much space. And also this one just doesn't look great out on the counter. Whereas a lot of the other air fryers are quite smart out on the counters um we do use it though and we do really like we make the um pota potatoes bravas in it and he'll make a really nice tomato sauce and things um, and we do really like the potatoes it does but it is i know you can't see in the corner so it takes up basically the whole equivalent of this shelf but it's in the corner bit so it's big it's a beastie um at the moment we have the kitchen space for it so but a smaller unit would like there are units now that would still have the cooking capacity of it but um i still think we're going through that phase of people decluttering from the kitchen appliances they bought in lockdown one of which i know i've got to get rid of today so even i make bad choices um, <laughs> when it comes to buying things i mean I, obviously i make lots of bad choices in loads of other areas of my life but even with buying stuff i still make bad choices so i'm gonna pull them out well it's quite nice yeah it's there's they're rarely that sentimental i do have a sentimental blender at the moment but we are gonna get rid of it and um, it was my mum's and i'm on my she had one blender her entire adult life um it's still going i've got to plug it in and double check it but it's still going um whereas i am on third I think this might be even my fourth blender and fourth like blender food processor combi dvd they just don't make them like they do anymore it's really irritating <laughs> you're better off buying like a really really old one second hand than you are getting a new one for how long they last um and that so we're gonna pull it out this this dvd this five pound jobby um we use loads i think if I was only allowed to keep one kitchen appliance, it would be this. And um, I use it for lots of things. Closely. Oh, is that another one of these dudes hanging around? Um, again, it was being used because it was kind of the only option, but it's not actually that fit for purpose. I fit in here because they have lots of bits and cables and they just get stuck. Uh, this whisk one would probably be the second one I would definitely keep i feel like i could survive without everything else if i needed to um i'm gonna put those they have a little bracket that holds them together it's disappeared I, I don't know why i've kept that but i do quite like it i guess you can put screws in and screw it to the wall or something but i just like keeping them together <laughs> then we have all the accessories for the blender Process, food processor whatever you want to call it um 
and lots of attachments that we're going to go through. That's a whole other conversation, but we will go through that conversation today. Uh, we've got a slow cooker. I'm not going to get this big one out because there's nothing else. There's nothing else behind it and it's not going, but it's massive. And like I said, I've got a plan for getting a smaller one. So if you are, if, if space is your bigger issue, then you might want to look at if there's a smaller way of getting something. So we only have a two slice toaster. Like I said, I would be getting rid of this if it was my choice, but my partner uses it and we share a home. So this is compromise. This is, this is compromise. <laughs> Sure, he makes loads of compromises for me. But this is me compromising with him, keeping the toaster. It's also red. I don't like red stuff in my house <laughs> either. So lots of compromise going on with the toaster. But it's only a two one. So if you don't use toast very much and you have a four, try and look at swapping it for a two. You might even find that you know someone that's got a lovely two that needs a four and you can just do a straight switch aroo. Um then we have ugh, this bad boy, which I've been keeping because it's really useful. Uh, so last time I competed in a pageant, this was my water bottle <laughs> I would have. I think I had like two of these a day. How many milliliters is this? Um, so it's three and a half liters. And I was on like five liters a day at one point. That's obscene. It's not what I classify as healthy. It was prep for a competition. It wasn't like unhealthy. I mean, I don't like any fast food or anything like that. I feel like drinking a little bit too much water for a short period of my life is not so problematic. But at some point, we want to get a camper and camping. That is quite useful, but it's so big that it didn't fit in with the camping stuff. But I would like to try and make it fit in with the camping stuff. We have some camping stuff in a loft, so I think I'm going to relocate that to there. And then... Guilty pet. So this was my lockdown purchase. I can't lie, actually, though, in lockdown, we did use it a lot. We went through a big spiralizing phase. We used it to make, um, we used it a lot to make coleslaw. Um, but we, did we get it? I think we changed our old food processor, didn't have these with it. So this was useful. And then when our food processor broke and we got uh, replaced that, I say we're a new one, but we actually got a second hand one off someone. When we replaced that, the, the new to us one had these. So we just we just don't need it anymore. It did get a lot of use at the time, um, but I'm ready. I'm ready to let it go. That's my that's my guilty. Well, that was my guilty lockdown purchase. There were a few guilty clothing lockdown purchases. Well, not guilty, but just bad decisions. Things that just weren't right, didn't fit. Um, the slow cooker we use quite a lot. We'll do soups and stuff in there. Um, it's more a winter appliance. Um, but we we do use it. Um, the toaster has to stay. So, and these are two that we don't use as regularly. So I'm going to pop you there, and then will you fit? Yes, slow cooker and toaster. Then have that nice little space behind there. So, what are we left with? Um, none of the main these main appliances are going to go. So, I have my. Um, you can't see. That I have my main food processor. We have, I thought my partner was ridiculous to buy this. It's a hot chocolate maker, got it years ago. Um, and oh, I love it. So we use it as our milk frother as well for uh, like cappuccinos, lattes, that kind of coffee related things. We do baby chinos in it. Our daughter loves it. Um, yeah, it's just really cool and actually it works really well. It heats and frosts at the same time. I just, Yes, so it's a really annoying shape and size, but we use it loads, 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 loads. What I would love is to have like a cabinet bit on a kitchen, like the forever kitchen to have. And I've seen them in those really old freestanding kitchens. So they'll have cupboards top and bottom and then the middle bit will have a pull down shelf. I wish we could have one of those with some with things like this in. Um, with the kettle in but with maybe like an air vent at the back kind of thing so there we just pull one thing down and they're already plugged in ready to use as opposed to having to get them out all the time which is a pain um but that's that we have it we have one um it has a few bits with it so i might start storing it in this so that you can just pull it out in one go as we've now got a spare one of these something yeah i might do that undecided um 
And then we have the whisk and blender in this main thing. So this one, I'm gonna go through and just check that we need all the parts and the attachments. Um, because that's what you find with these things. They come with so many additional attachments and you're just not going to use them. I never use this, but my partner has just started. So I had in my head, it, this was probably going to go in this thing, but he's actually worked out how to use it because for one, I couldn't forget <laughs> how it worked, how it attached to the other things. But he's now, one worked out how to use it. So that's fine. We'll keep that. Um, these are the bits that go in the lid. So they're quite important. Um, these two, I never use them. I always use the hand whisk. This one is so much easier to clean and I can use it in any container, whereas in the main thing, I just I just don't use them when I've got a handheld and I'm not getting rid of my handheld. That's definitely staying. So these attachments can go and someone else might find them useful. Um, like I said, we've got the, um, the disc plates that we do use a lot. Um, the juicer, we often hand juice, to be honest but it is quite a hand occasionally we want to not hand juice. What's that? What is that even for? How does that even go in? I don't know what that even is. Hmm. Interesting. It's not part of the juicer, because look, that's the juicer and it doesn't attach to that in any way, shape or form. Does it attach in here? Does it do something in here? Okay, okay. It does seem to fit in here. But then what did it do? <laughs> Why? Why does it fit in here? I'm guessing so you can... No, no, no idea. So it does something like that. But I can't, I can't work out why you would need it to do that. That doesn't fit in with that. So I'm quite happy to let go of that, but I'm going to double check with my other half if he knows what it does. Because I cannot work it out. Or does it have to go in? Did it go in before? That does that have to no because then that can't click in. So I'm guessing that's something to do with not having to use the lid, but we always use the lid. Maybe it's something to do with these. Does this go on first? I've had this for like a couple of years, so it's a bit concerning that I don't actually know how to do this. No, can't fit on with that. No. no idea what that does, so I'm pretty sure that can go. That's fine. That is the main thing that does everything, so definitely need that. I think this is something to do with making bread, but again, you can tell it's bright and clean. We've never used it. It can go. Um, this I will double check with my partner. I've tried to use it, and I'm just not convinced it really does anything <laughs> it's just it just basically made a big mess but he might go oh no that's for dicing such and such and I use it a lot so I'm going to double check that one and um, those are all definitely going those are my two check with him because he does cook a lot and so that might he might know what they are um and the question is would this fit better in another one. is that it is that all the pieces of beauty Ooh. Mm, exciting it would be nice if this all fits in one pot it's just struggled to get it in two before because they're all really awkward shapes but there we go all fits in one pot. Brilliant. Living my best life. I've now got an empty one of these again. <laughs> Love it. Happy days. Um, and then just, I think that does. 
will fill it with the lid on top of it. Um, I can put the lid on properly anyway. There you go. It will. No, it won't. <laughs> Usually onto the stick. I was going to put it in on the base, but. Well, it will fit if I don't put the base in, but I'll decide about that in a minute. Um, which then means that this is free. I think I'm going to put these in. This is this used to live in one of these in our old cupboard, and then it stopped. Can I do that? There you go. Now I've just got, so I've now laid out everything that I want to try and fit into this space. Now I know it will fit because I've actually reduced down what I've got. You can kind of see. And um, so I put it all together and then I can think about how it's going to best fit. Now, what we want to think about is easier access to the top of this shelf. That's right, let's put the wood. Um, the top of the shelf is much easier access for us than the bottom one. Um, and it kind of depends. Um, so if we were looking at storing kids stuff that I wanted my daughter to have better access to, I might go for the lower one. But for us, the things we get out of here, the top of shelf is uh, more easy access. Um, so that's going to be the things that we use more often, which is going to be the hot chocolate maker and then these blenders like that. Um, and then hopefully all the other stuff should fit on the bottom shelf. We're about to find out, aren't we? We are about to find out. Um, attachments can go behind the base because we can't. We can't use any of the attachments without getting the base out, so that might as well block that. Uh, we use, we do use this, but not as often as the top. So that's going to be the secondary bit at the back, and the new one can go at the front, and the big one even. It does really need a clean. <laughs> really need a clean. We're not going to do that today. Um, so that was quite an easy one. Um, Alexa, how long left on the timer? Seven minutes, seven minutes, uh, I did it in seven minutes less than I said. That's that's winning it live. Um, this I was finding really annoying. It didn't quite work for this kind of thing because of the holes in the bottom. Uh, now you could have put like a cardboard line in or something or some reinforced paper, um, a silicon mat. That's another thing that could go in this. Um, we use them for baking so you can get them quite easily. Silicon mat in the bottom to then put stuff on top. But actually I prefer this because what I can do is I can grab this out. This can stay on the side. I can cook with it, I can clean with it, I can put them all away, and then I can put this back into the cupboard. Um, and it's just a lot neater and a lot tidier. Um, and then we've freed up some space at the back, which I don't need for anything. So I don't know why I'm trying to work out what I could put in there. And um, the only one is to check, I need to check these two devices. Um, and then that might change things slightly. But I think if he wants to keep these, there's one attachment that's quite a big one that's in that bowl um, that I can relocate and pop it at the back. Um, or I've probably got another one of these somewhere that I could put. So I could have two at the back with the two sets of attachments in, but I would just double check if he's happy to let go of all of these bits. Um, and I freed up a basket, which is exciting. I've now freed up two of those today. Um, living living their best life, being empty and happy. Um, come up with some other fun thing to do with them. I don't know what, but something fun. Uh, sort of different ways to use them around the house, I guess. Um, but there you go. My beautifully organised kitchen appliances, kitchen gadgets, cupboard. Just the essentials, ones I use the most up the top. The ones that I use rarely, uh, less often down the bottom, and then the ones that use rarely but still want to keep tucked in the harder to reach areas. Um, but I'm still there, easy to see from the cupboard. So I don't know if you can see so much in that angle, but when I open the cupboard, I can very much see what's there because they're bigger things. I wouldn't want to put layers and layers of things behind there. Um, I want to be able to see them. So it's quite good for the big appliances that you don't use very much. I can very clearly see slow cooker, toaster, and uh, air fryer in there. Um, the toaster is the one that we would access the most. So that's there. I can just literally take this out and then I can access the toaster very quickly, but I can very easily see where the toaster is to get to it. So I'm not gonna forget where it is. My partner can come to the appliance cupboard, open it and know, ah, 
I can see where the toaster is without it needing to be that easy access. And like I said, if I had my way, we'd be getting rid of it. But I don't always get my way, despite what some people might think. Um, anyway, um, beautiful cupboard, very pleased with that. Um, we will be back, I think it's tomorrow for the kitchen fridge one, even not the kitchen one, um, for the fridge one. Uh, we also on Thursday evening have the Christmas workshop. Um, so it's about an hour and a half, two hours long. Uh, Christmas planning workshop on Thursday evening at eight, no, at 7.30. Um, and these are, I'm nearly finished sorting out the YouTube channel and then these are slowly going up. One of them is downloading as I am streaming this as well. Um, unfortunately, I'm struggling to get the sentimental items one to download, but I'm taking it as a sign from God, that I don't need to upload that one. I found that one a lot harder than I was going to because it was my mum's memory box and I've not been it through it before ever. Um, so I'd put some extra bits in it when she passed away, um, but then I hadn't been through it properly. And yeah, it was hard. Um, so it's still available on Facebook, but I won't be putting that one on the YouTube, I don't think, um, unless I magically find a way of downloading it. Um, so there you go. That was our speed organized, speed declutter. Um, as always, I have got, and I feel like be realistic, have got a little pile of mess next to me now that I need to clear up. I've got the things that I need to go and move to the selling pile because we're going to do some of that this evening. I've got my little stash of boxes and things that I always have next to me when I'm doing decluttering and organizing. So I've got options for how to do. So I need to go and put those somewhere tidy. I'll tidy up the things that I'm letting go of, rubbish to the rubbish bin. And then any items that I am now rehoming somewhere else. So the big water bottle that I'm now putting with the camping stuff. Um, I will go and at least put it in the vicinity. So the camping stuff for us is in a loft. Um, and I have a little spot, uh, those that did the linen organization, I have that little spot near the, um, uh, within the linen cupboard where I put anything that is going to be um, going up into the loft. So um, don't worry, um, this, uh, yes, this one will go up onto, uh, go up on YouTube, but you can watch the replays in the Facebook group as well. Um, I think some of them will have saved to the page too, but I definitely know they're in the Facebook group. Um, so I will probably spend like another 10 minutes tidying up after this one. It's not too messy. The one this morning maybe took about 15 minutes. Uh, the arts and crafts took a little bit longer to tidy up because I had lots of different bits to break up to recycle and not recycle um, and put daughter's art away and what have you. So um, I just want to be realistic that after each decluttering job, there's usually a little bit of additional tidy up outside of the area that you need to clutter. So goodbye, beautiful gadget cabinet. Um, I will see you next time for the fridge, which is our final one for 10 for 10. Um, and I'm going to grab my food and get on the road. I will see you soon. Have an amazing day. Stay motivated, stay focused on those top three priorities. And I will see you soon. Ta-ta for now.